Vic Vance reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> relax, relax. Are you well? Yes, thank you, Sergeant. Good. In here, you can call me Jerry. Okay. Okay, Jerry, huh? <laughs> now, Vic, tell me, why did you sign up, huh? To stay out of jail because you like getting shouted at, huh? What makes you polish your boots and put bullets in your guns in the hopes that maybe you get to shoot someone, huh? <laughs> I got a difficult family. I got responsibilities. What? Kids uh, abroad giving you shit, huh? <clears throat> no. Brothers, uh, one is real sick, asthma, and I gotta pay the bills. The other, well, maybe he's sick too, but in a different way. My mom's a mess. So you joined the army to get rich? Not exactly, but, you know, my dad, he came here from DR. We didn't have a lot of opportunities. You know, what else was I supposed to do? Why did you join up? To get rich! Why, why are you messing with me, Sergeant? <laughs> I ain't. Chill. Relax. Take a seat. Look, Vic, there are plenty of opportunities for a man who knows the game to make real money. So... I don't want any trouble, man. Who wants trouble? Nobody. Everybody wants to relax. No trouble. And there's plenty of money to be made. Nice and easy. Listen, I don't think this is for me. So if there's nothing else... Hey, relax, huh? Come on, Vic. I need a favor. No risk. So why do you need me if there's no risk? Because I gotta take registration. Besides, you're not on duty for a couple of days. Listen, you take my bike, you go over to the airport, and you pick up a package for me, huh? Okay. Just this one favor, and that's it. Good. Listen, if plans change, I'll let you know. What's this? It's a pager, tough guy. Welcome to the 80s, Vic. Oh, almost caught the clap. Me boy. Jerry sent you. Say Jerry? Uh, Sergeant Martinez. Sure. <laughs> hey, come with me, soldier. I've got something for your boss. Man, life's been good to you. <laughs> come on, let's take a ride. Here's Jerry's stuff. Tell him my cut goes up next time. Vice City's getting too peligroso for us freelancers. Speaking of which, we've got company. Grab that gun and take them out. Ah! Ah! Abandoned ship! Sure. No, no worries. Oh, look, I gotta go. The cavalry just turned up. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> Corporal, what can I do for you? Listen, Jerry, you gotta get rid of that stuff. It's making me nervous. I'm not into drugs, and Chill I don't... Chill the fuck out, my friend. You're really getting on my nerves. Besides, who are you gonna get in trouble with? 
I'm your superior officer, and you told me you needed the money. I do need the money. Uh-huh. But you don't like drugs. I don't think they're a good scene. Me neither. But you like guns, huh? They don't give you a moral problem, I mean. No. Good. Because I know a guy who can sell all the guns we can get them, which is, trust me, quite a lot. I don't know, Sergeant. This is getting heavy. You'll make a whole pile of cash for nothing. Buy that sick brother of yours a whole lot of candy. What do I have to do? <clears throat> nothing. Just go and pick up the money from him. He's down over by the docks. <clears throat> hey, Vic. You want some of this, huh? You must be Vic. Jerry told me about you. Hey, I used to be in the service. Yeah, listen. He said you'd have some money for me. Sure, sure. Well, I ain't a bank. I don't have it on me. But I'll take you to it. I've been having trouble with them Cholo boys. Some of them have What the hell is a cholo? Bunch of Mexican gangbangers, bad boys, trying to take over all the gun running in town. Look, where's the money, Phil? Yeah, well, funny thing, you see, it's like this. It's under the floorboards of my old place. But the cholo evicted me, and now I can't get to it. I'll get to it. See you around. I'm gonna kick your ass! Stay calm. Cholo kill you good pendejo. Man, you asked for this. Yo espantoso! Did anyone ever tell you you got a really dumb name? No. No one's ever oh, mentioned that before. Oh, my. Look at that! Hey, is that legal? Can animals give consent? I don't know. Listen, Jerry, can you stash that weed somewhere weed? else? What weed? <laughs> I'm sitting with you! Come on! Having fun! Rock and roll! Oh, would you fucking relax, my friend? Look, I'm not some idiot that you can just... I never called you an idiot! <sighs> oh, shh, shh. Look at that. Oh, now she got a pig and a horse. Hooey! <laughs> that candy sucks! <laughs> That's some guy's daughter, man. Listen, Jerry. No, you listen, huh? Oh, dude, will you look at that? Man, I gotta get laid. Oh, jeez. Hey, if you weren't such a square, I'd do you, huh? <laughs> I'm joking, come on. This is the Army, not the Navy, huh? <laughs> Hey, listen, man, I need a broad, huh? Oh, I need Mary. Mary, yeah. Oh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. 
Oh, come on, man. I need a favor. I need you to collect your pot, dude. Sure. I'll go get that from your quarters. You go get married for me, okay? She's over at Vice Port. Oh, and go see Phil again. He said something about a gift for you. Huh? I don't trust you, Martinez. Hey, that is not an appropriate way to speak to a superior officer. <laughs> now get on with it, come on. The reefer is under my bed. Oh, genius, great hiding place. What are you, 15? Huh, hurry up. Oh, hey, and tell Mary I love her. Fucking idiot. Oh. Hey, Vic, how you doing? Martinez wanted me to give you this. Don't worry, it's non-traceable. Don't worry? Man, I'm getting too deep into this shit. Do you know Mary? If you want Mary, she's at a party up on Starfish. I'm heading over there myself. You can give me a lift. I'm Mona, by the way. If there's anything I can do for you, or to you, just let me know. <laughs> Good fella. Maybe I can pay you back in kind later? I just need to find Mary. Sure. She's right over there. Are you Mary? Come on. Let's go. Hey, we paid for her. She's not going anywhere. Is that a fact? Damn right. Come on. Let's get this low-life nobody and teach this bitch a lesson, too. Get off me, man. I'm a soldier. Don't push me. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, muscles. I've got a delicate disposition. Did Martinez send you? That cockroach still owes me from last time. Corporal Vance, would you care to explain why there's marijuana hidden under your bed? And who the Sam Hill is this? Hey, buddy. Listen, I charge more for groups. You brought a whore onto the base? Have you no shame, boy? Are you a moron? Is that it? Drugs, whores, you're out of here, soldier. You're a disgrace! Phil, where are you? Phil, it's me, Vic. Oh. Put your hands where I can see him, boy. You think you can come here and rob me, probably try to rape me? <laughs> I know you're kind. Phil, it's me, Vic, your brother in arms. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Lower your pants and prepare to cry. I'm going to give you a shotgun suppository. Whoa! <laughs> Phil! It's me, oh, Vic. Oh, my. Vic Vance. Vic, why didn't you say so? Good to see you, brother. Come here. <clears throat> Let me squeeze a fart out of you. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry about Bruce, man. He was the best. Hey, I can still see the smile on his face when he shot that little gook. Bang. <clears throat> Go to hell. Damn. Have you been drinking? Uh, what do you think? Listen, we gotta go. I got something to show you. Come on. Come on. Come on, now. Hold on. 
You're gonna drive? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Maybe I should drive, man. Damn stick shift! Vic, we're gonna drive by on some cholo. I know right where we can pick up the trail. I'm just trying to make an honest living, man. But they're organized. I can't compete, man. You know, this used to be a fine country. <laughs> oh, nothing. Felt for sure some cholo would be here. Those scumbags are always crossing the law. Let's not hang around here, Vic. Cops make me nervous. I hear you, man. Sometimes I skits out and kill a lot of them. Say, I know another place those damn cholos might be. Strike two. Where are they? This could take hours. <laughs> Good job. I brought a little something to drink. <clears throat> Cholo bastard! There he is! Cholo bastard! God damn Cholos, who do they think they are? Messing with me? Phil bitch killer Cassidy? Bam, black boy! Yeah, This is some fancy driving. We're gonna need to get my car fixed up, Vic. Old girl ain't looking so good. She is looking like a daisy now. You're a fine wingman, Vic. Damn Cholo will think twice before shitting on my patch from now on. See you around, partner. See you around. Phil! What's going on? You're a mess. I'm not drunk. I'm just resting my eyes. Okay. So, what's going on? My boom shines. I'm about to get blown sky high by a bunch of angry scumbags. Damn it. Mm. What? Yeah. Them cholos are gonna blow up my liquor. There's so much of it at the warehouse, one match, blow it. All the way to Tennessee. Tennessee, here I go. <laughs> Phil, come on. Let's deal with this. <laughs> the thing is, Vicky boy, my daddy was an angry man. He never, ever told me I was special. In fact, he used to beat me, especially when he caught me staring at my cousin or my sister. You know what he said to me? He said I'd be better off dead. And how exactly is this helping? Uh, the tragedy of it is, I'm just like him. I am a drunk. I deserve to die. It should have been me instead of Zach on Hill 491, man. I'm coming home, daddy! <laughs> Yeah, Daddy, I'm coming home! <laughs> You're pathetic. I could have sworn I locked this place up. Phil, don't open the... Daddy! 
scheming cholo bastard's body trap my place. Ain't no use running. When that boom shine blows, we're all gonna die. Get a grip! I'll get your damn liquor. I'll back the truck up to the door. You load her up. I better put these babies in some safe place, huh? You think you can jack me, bitch? Chill, money, chill! Ah! Hey, look who it is! Victor Vance! What's going on, amigo? You want some smoke? Fuck you, Martinez. Relax! You're so fucking histrionic, it's like hanging out with a bitch on her period. You want me to fuck you up? Whatever, baby. The thing is, you work for Phil. And Phil? Phil works for me. Which makes you my bitch's bitch. Figure that out. <coughs> Man, that shit is heavy. So you had better play nice if you want to get paid, huh? Because if you don't get paid, then who's gonna look after your sick brother? Fuck you! <laughs> hey, change the record, baby! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! What did you expect me to do, huh? I didn't screw you over for fun. I was saving myself, and you would do the same, and don't pretend otherwise. I had a career! So what? You got kicked out of the army! Big deal. I told Phil about some guns I can sell if you can get them. Hmm? Hey, Phil, don't smoke too much of this shit, huh? It'll make you trip out. Get paranoid. Sure. Later, Jerry. Come on, Vic. This should silence any asshole following me. We're gonna need some backup, Vic. I know some guys that'll help. Are we being followed? We better not be being followed. I'll rip those bastards' livers right out of their sides. Chill out, man. There ain't no one following us. Hey, fellas, come on. We're gonna make some money. They're good guys, Vic. Just always so quiet. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't trust them. With maple syrup. I'm gonna take the truck back to my place. Anyone follows me, you give them hell. He said back up!
Hello? Marty? Phil Cassidy sent me. Oh, uh, hi. Marty ain't home or nothing. Oh, oh, okay. Well, do you know when he's gonna be back? I don't know nothing. Excuse me. What do you want, boy? Nothing. Are you Marty? No. Now get gone, boy. Bitch! Bitch! Get your sorry ass out here! I thought I told you to clean this shit up! Marty, Mary Beth's been sick. Don't be using that baby as an excuse, Louise. Cause I'll hit her as well as you. Are you Louise? I'm a friend of Phil's. Friend of Phil's? Well, why don't you say so, boy? I'm Marty J. Williams. I was too busy watching you threaten your wife. Well, we was only playing around, boy. He didn't mean nothing by it. He only hits me when I deserve it. Oh, yeah? Well, Phil says you guys might have some work for me. I'm Vic Vance. Yeah, sure. I got a few things need taken care of right now, as a matter of fact. Drive me. And Louise, you better have this shit cleaned up before I get back. You got me? A business interest of mine is having trouble with some idiots I need putting straight. What business are you in? I look after people and they look after me. Sometimes I have to remind them of their obligations if they don't. But mostly I just mind my own business. You mind yours, pal. Okay, we're here. Now get on in there and teach them idiots a lesson. You're not coming? Why would I employ a dog and then bark myself? Go sick em, pal. I ain't got anything to lose, Frank. Familia, I heard you. Please, I can't afford to pay any more protection. You don't pay, you don't stay. Fuck this place up. Who the hell is this hero? Betty, you're a chango. Betty, halal po. You're gonna be sorry. Don't. Sit down, my friend. You done real good, Vic. M Marty, he's with you? What are you doing letting scum in your store? My protection don't run to no daily visit. Are you hot for me, boy? Is that it? You want to see my pretty face here every day? What? I, mean, I... No! Voice of my time, your protection rate just went up. Come on, Vic. These cholo boys normally protect a store nearby. Now it's going to need new protection. Let's go get it. You're running a protection racket? And more besides soon enough. Come on, put the pedal to the metal, step on it. This is it. Let's get in there and bring them into the fold. But I pay protection to the Cholo. I don't see them protecting you any. Vic, get to work. Marty, this ain't right. You want to get paid? Be a man. Or are you all hat and no cattle? Please! I don't want any trouble! That's why you need us! Please! This is crazy! Fuck them up! Payaso! Who's the chingo now, Mamon? Okay! I'll pay, I'll pay! You did a man's job today. I might have more work for you. See you around. <laughs> hey, Louise. <laughs> hey, Vic. How you keeping? Uh, better now. Good. Hey, don't stop. I'm waiting for Marty. No, it's nice to talk to someone. So, Phil said you was in the service? Uh, yeah, but I screwed up. You and me both. Damn it, woman. If you're gonna dress like a whore, I'm gonna turn you out. I was doing my aerobics, Marty! Crying out loud, give me a break. I will. 
A broken fucking neck. You watch your mouth in my goddamn house. Sorry. Now look what you gone and done, you imbecile. Jesus, woman. Hey, what's up, Vic Vance? You said you might have some other work. Yeah, yeah, sure. I got some debt people need to start paying. Well, I, uh, if you don't shut that bread up, woman, I will! Screw you, Marty! You're nothing but an inbred hillbilly piece of shit! You better watch your mouth, Tramp, or I'll knock them teeth out! That's it! I'm taking the baby and I'm going to stay with my sister! Good! Go ahead, go! Fat-ass pig sister of hers. I'll hit her and all, too. Here's a list of shit needs repossessing. I don't think you got the stones to get it for me. Prove me wrong. Uh. Hey! Son of a bitch, that's my car! Don't take it personally, pal. Uh, I paid Marty off weeks ago, man! What the? Get that van out of here! Why do I get the impression none of those debts were genuine? Whatever I say is mine is mine. And what I say goes. If you want to get on around here, you'll learn that one, kid. So it seems I got some competition. What do you mean? Them damn cholos are trying to muscle in on my repo business. It's time I sent them a message. Grenades? I just want to make sure they hear what I have to say. It's time to diversify my inches, Vince. Vic. Whatever. We're going into the whoring business. We're going to take over place up yonder. Once we're in, it's party time. Yes, sir, -y boy. I just got me an inch I need scratching. Shame you're queer, boy. I might have tossed you a bone. Thanks, but I don't need you tossing my bone. Just get up there and clean the damn place out, Vince. And it's loaded. Hey, Papi Chulo, spare me, please. <laughs> so I said, what kind of name is Thorkill? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is, tough boy, the big man. <laughs> How high can you jump, boy? Boy? Oh, you're pretty tough, you inbred piece of white trash. Why don't you come down here and ask me that again, huh? I ain't scared of you. Oh, yeah? Then why is your voice cracking? 
boy. All right, all right, enough. I ain't scared. You stop disturbing the goddamn neighbors with this bullshit. What'd you say? I pay you to help me, not to argue. You hear? Loud and clear, yeah. boss. Good. Now, we got some problems with them cholos. They've been threatening my girls. Now, I want you to teach them some respect. Anyway, I told him, you bring her over to me. I don't care if she's 14. I like her boobs. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, Vic. How are you? Uh, getting better. Well, all right. Hey there. <laughs> you deserve good things, honey. Uh, maybe. Better than this shit. Hey, come on. What's wrong? Nothing. Everything? It's bullshit. I mean, I'm a fucking mess. Didn't finish high school. Got a kid by a goddamn prick. Living on my sister's couch. No hope. Come on, you're just going through a bad time right now. Things will improve. You'll see. Show me a way out. Just show me a fucking way out. I don't know. Look at it this way. I've been kicked out of the military. Now I'm working with jerks, robbing people, all to pay for my brother's medical bills. While my mother freebases half the money I sent anyhow. I am not the one to ask for advice. <laughs> yeah. Look at us. <laughs> what a pair. <laughs> pathetic, huh? Worse than pathetic. <laughs> Hey, you want to go out? Maybe? Get some fresh air? Have some fun? Sure. Sounds good. Say, Phil said there was a quad bike race at the trailer park. Hey, there you go. Hey, great. Quad bikes and moonshine. Let's go. Will the baby be okay back at your sister's? Sure, she'll be just fine. I'm looking forward to having me some fun. Good luck, Vic. You'll need it. Great. I had the best time. Glad to hear it, Louise. Look, uh, I'm a little worried about your baby. Oh, Mary Beth? She'll be fine, but maybe I'd better get back. Wait up. I'll take you. That's okay. Will you call on me sometime, Vic Vance? Doesn't look like nothing. What's wrong? <laughs> I left some of her things back at Marty's. Everything I do is wrong. I can't even run away right. Look, it's not such a big deal. We'll just head over to Marty's and go get him. Well, what about Marty? Well, what about him? Thanks, Vic. You're something else. I don't like the look of these guys. Aren't they the guys from the quad bike race? So you cheats and shown your ugly bitch ass faces. If Marty heard you talking to me like that. Marty? Marty said the next time he saw you, he'd turn you out. Back off, white trash. White trash? You wanna do this, bitch boy? This ain't no you joke. You to die, boy? Mm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm this could I'll get shut very you like ugly. A corn cob. Uh. Sure. Uh. 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 Let's not escalate ah. this shit. Uh. 
I'll get my baby's things. You should have just bought new. I will. I just found Marty's wallet inside. I'm going shopping. That asshole owes me. Marty ain't gonna be too happy when he finds out you ripped him off. <laughs> like I give a shit. Vic Vance? I never knew I could have such a good time. A great time? Oh yeah, we had a riot. And you were great. Well, I better get on inside. See you later. Last night I was being pedo. Hey, idiota! Hey, gringo! Who, who the fuck are you? Where's Louise? What? He, he took her! That, that animal, he took her! He's gonna do something wicked to her! Wait, who took her and who are you? Mary Jo, her sister. Who are you? Vic. A friend. It's, it's nice to meet you. I've, I've heard a lot about you. Who took her? That monster Marty. He said he's gonna turn her out. Jesus. It's his own wife. Yeah, yeah, but he wanted to turn me out too. I promise you he did. I ain't gonna be your whore, Marty. You've been whoring yourself on that Vic. Don't you deny it. Well, if you're gonna act like a whore, you're gonna be one. Get in that truck! Shit! Vic, help! You looking for trouble, Vince? I did. You about to taste my fist? Help! Vic! Put them nukes up, bitch! I can't believe you killed him! How am I gonna look after my baby now? You what? Marty was an asshole. He treated you worse than shit. I'm sorry. I just... Hey, look. Marty's kin are gonna be coming for you now. We better get you someplace safe. I can handle Marty's kin, Louise. I just want to make sure you're safe, that's all. Look, you and Mary Beth are gonna be better off without Marty, you know? Are we? It's just everything's changing so fast. Everything's gonna be fine. You're okay, Vic Vance. I've been thinking over what you said about me and the baby being better off without Marty, and I've got a plan. Why don't you take over Marty's business? I'm no gang boss. No, but you could be. Come on, we both need the cash, honey. First, we need to get some guys together. Church. Hey, wanna make some money? What the fuck, man? Unlucky for you, you're coming with me. I'm the man for the job. I need your help, man. I'm the man for the job. I'll go find some more guys and see you at Marty's other place. This shouldn't be too tough. Come on, guys. What the fuck? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Be still. Yeah. Ain't happening, man. Ah. Yes, it's that time.
You did it, Vic. The whole damn caboodle's yours. Yeah, but I don't know how to run this kind of thing. Marty could do it, and he was nearly inbred. You'll pick it up. You're amazing. You can do anything. Hey, boss, this is a full-time position? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everything's going to be just fine. Lance, hey. what are you doing here? You don't sound so pleased. I'm not so pleased. Thanks, bro. Who was you expecting? What a greeting, man. Not you. Someone useful. So what am I? A handicap, huh? Your dumbass, low life, no good brother? Something like that. Yeah, well, I'm not the one who got kicked out of the army. No, you're the asshole who got kicked out of the Boy Scouts. Oh, come on, man. I come all this way to see you and you treat me like I got herpes. Maybe that's because your whole life you've gotten us into trouble. Oh, give me a break, man. I've changed. Okay, I'll give you a chance. One chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, come here, man. You won't regret it, baby. I love you, man. And love can change the world. But Vic. What? I have got herpes. Get off me, man. <laughs> just get in the damn car. I'm just kidding. All the cholos have been looking for you, Mr. Big Shot. What do you want with me? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. You kill plenty cholos. Now we kill you plenty. Get us out of here, Lance! Ah. Who's that you go now, Mamon? Is this your idea of a welcome party? Come on, move it! Oh, wait, where the hell am I going, man? Hey, watch the road! Oh, shit! I'm just too pretty to die! <laughs> Woo! Any friends in this town? Ooh. Shit! They're everywhere! My oh. One more Lance fans chance! You prick! You're never driving again. I had it with you, man. You put me off. You always treat me like a kid. You are now about to die. Ooh. I'd appreciate a ride to my hotel. Impressive. This place ain't cheap. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I told them to bill you. Hey, Louise. It's me. Vic. Thank God you're here. I just heard your cat house is going up in flames. Are the girls okay? Did Marty's inbred family do this? I'll be right down. Did you call the fire department? Don't worry. I know where we can get a fire truck.
That's Marty's cousin! He did it, Vic! Get him! Bastard's got six toes! Hey, you! No oh, one's gonna miss you! Vic, Welfare said I was a bad mother. Their man said he was gonna take Mary Beth off me unless I put out for him. But I'll show him. I've got a couple of guys to take care of him. What? Killing him is gonna make things worse. When's this happening? Well, kinda right now. Did I do wrong? How was I to know better? Somebody help! Leave Louise Williams alone, pal, or you and I are gonna become close friends. Wonderful. Okay, okay! She's white trash anyway! Hey, you Umberto? Did somebody order a stripper? Excuse me? Because I like my bitches a bit less balding. What? Are you a comedian, Frank? <laughs> hmm? No, no. <laughs> I'm a man, just like you. Uh-huh. Umberto Rubina. You must be Vance. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you heard about Marty? Yeah, I heard about that dumb punk. Came to an unfortunate end, huh? <laughs> Bitch fight. I like that, huh? Two bitches going at it hot and sweaty. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, whatever you're into, man. Hey, I'm into men. Men proving themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds fun. Look, you worked for Marty for years. So in between men, can I rely on you? Sure, puppy. <laughs> if you can prove to me you got some balls. I've got a package waiting for collections downtown. Go get it for me if you can. I'm not your delivery man, friend. Until I know you got some balls and some juice in them, there'll be no alliance between us. Juan will go with you. He'll tell me if you've got something down there. Gracias, Vic. <laughs> I kiss you. Whoa, not today. Mm, you got some Cuban in you? <laughs> you look like you got some Cuban in you, lady. Uh, no, I'm from Ohio. Oh. <laughs> you want some Cuban in you, lady? No. Like I told you, I'm a lesbian on a committed journey with my life partner. Now, Mr. Rubina, about your father's welfare claim. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> Vic, I tell you, this bitch is crazy for me. Can you smell it? Yeah, this is going wild. <laughs> Always the same. Listen, we got a problem, huh? Your boy Jerry, 
He's causing all sorts of trouble. Martinez? God damn uh, it. Uh, Mr. Rubina, must I remind you I am a very busy woman? Hey, baby, <laughs> mira, listen. You keep your panties on, okay? I got some serious man shit to deal with with my body. <laughs> Why don't you just sit down? Stay pretty. Don't worry, huh? I'll be back with some serious chorizo. Uh, you got a friend for my buddy? <sighs> He's a little bit shy. Oh, my. Uh, whatever. Vic, let's roll! Show these boys how to be men and take back our streets from these bitch cholos. I have my own bitch to deal with inside. You're not coming? I will be soon. <laughs> But not with you, my friend. <laughs> I'm hot, baby. Coño, man, I didn't know! And you! I've seen shit with more guts! You didn't say your father was going. Shut your mouth, lady boy! He's my daddy, and I love him. I can't believe you would do this. And you left him there to die. Umberto, what's the problem? Oh my god, I'm going to be an orphan! <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. How did it happen? It hasn't happened, bro. Alberto, that's his dad. He's over at the wrestling, man. So why the tears? Coño, oh, we just saw some cholos driving God, over there, man. <laughs> so why doesn't somebody just go pick up Alberto? Brother, that's what we said to Umberto, only he freaked out. Well, go get him. No, no way, Vic. Don't let my daddy be collected by these two bitches. <laughs> He's a man. The shame will kill him. Well, you go. Oh, I can't drive, man. I'm hysterical. <laughs> God damn it, I'll go get him. But you owe me, you freak. <laughs> hey, Alberto! Your son sent me to pick you up. Gracias, senor. You're late. Tarde. I can't be late opening my cafe. In 20 years, I have never opened late. Take it easy, Alberto. No problems. I don't feel too good. Take it easy, my heart! This rushing, my heart, she's not so good these days. So I ask you once more, are you man? Yeah. yeah. Then why are you not like ball? Because I totally am bad. Because that's something you ain't got, baby. I got a whole sack full here, tons of them. Balls everywhere, balls to spare. Oh man, he's certainly full of balls. <laughs> <laughs> you what, baby? You whisper sweet nothing's there some bitches here? Ah, huh, lover boy! Eh, uh, no, boss. Victor Vance, this is a real man with a lot of balls. <laughs> You're not scared of no cholos, are you, Vic? You know I ain't scared of nobody. So show him your balls! 
<laughs> no, I was in the army, not the navy. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, bitches! <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just messing with you. Someone's gotta teach these cholos a lesson. I guess I have to go, alone. Humberto, boss, I'm up for anything, man. I just don't wanna have to take my balls out again. Yeah, can we just go hit shit up and keep our pants on? Yeah, let's roll. <laughs> See, Vic, they didn't want to go and now they've gone. The art of leadership, my friend, is making people believe they had the idea all along. <laughs> My men are going to collect a little gift for the Cholo. They'll meet up with you after. After what? After you've cleared the way for us. Then we can hit the Cholos hard and take their guns. I'll coordinate the attack from here. Sure, big man. We really need a coordinator back here. Going? So soon? Ooh. Now you can't grow old. I said it, we're gonna need some protection while we're loading up, man. I've got your backs. <laughs> Do you like our gift for the Cholo, man? Very tasteful. Last chance to man. draw a breath. <laughs> Bye, asshole. <laughs> sure it's a gun. <laughs> Show me you're the oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's loaded. Hey, Stiff. Last chance to draw a breath. We got what we came for. We're gonna go back now, okay? <laughs> My friend, today is a good day. We turn the tide in Little Havana. The Cholos are finished! <laughs> Umberto Rubina says you are a true friend. You can count on me for anything. I love you, man. Like a son or a dog. I am Lance Vance, baby. You can trust me. Lance T. Vance, a T for truck. Great. <laughs> yeah, love. I love you, man. No, not in a funny way. <laughs> All right, ciao. What was that? <laughs> nothing. Didn't sound like nothing. Vic, look at me. It was nothing. And you look at me. What was that about? You thank me. Like I haven't heard that before. What have you done? I found a way in. Two kids, oh. broken home, no education, no father. What? And rich as shit. It's the American dream, baby. People look, with good look, medical treatment. We are not kids. We're young at heart. Listen, look, I met a big player. And we'll get big money for doing absolutely nothing. This better not be drugs. We won't be touching no drugs, man. Come on. You know, I'm your brother. You can trust me. So who is this player? My man's name is Forbes. He's gonna call us at the burger bar any minute now. So let's get down there pronto. So merchandise is hidden in the car's side panels. Ah, yeah. No problem. Okay, we're gonna pick up Forbes' car. That's it? No drugs? <laughs> Some player. Man, give me a break. There's no winning with you. Oh shit! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, nobody move! Come on! Hands where I can see him! Do it! <laughs> what? I said, nobody fucking move! We're just cleaning the shit. Ah! Vic, come on! I miss you. Man, that's just typical. 
They think we did it? This is bullshit! Forbes' car is in the impound yard. So what are we doing here? We're going in the back door. I'm gonna call back up. No more complaining for you! You about to get fucked! Another dead cunt! Meet my gun! Come on! Let's get the car out of here! I don't get it! How is stealing one dumb car gonna make us rich? I've got everything covered, man. Are there drugs hidden in the car? Great driving, Vic. But, um, uh, it's best that I take it from here. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Forbes doesn't know you, man. He wouldn't trust you. See you later, baby. Let's, you asshole. Of course, you can't kid a kid. <laughs> hey, Vic. Hey. Yo, bro, so, what's up? Vic, you want to hear about a little plan that is going to make us three very rich? Very rich. Mm -hmm. So what's the risk? Well, let me put it like this. You will not be handling any drugs. All I need you to do is keep the cops busy while Lance and I steal some merch off the scum who brought it into this country. The drugs are already here, so we ain't drug trafficking. Exactly. You're just a decoy. All you gotta do is make the police think you're carrying. They can't arrest you for that. No, but they can shoot me. Oh. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Vic, you'll be fine. Rich and fine. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's pop. This is gonna be the decoy van. Come on, Vic, you drive. This van's the wrong color, Forbes. Relax. It's nothing a little paint can't fix. This van is good to van go. <laughs> yeah, funny. Vic, take the decoy and lead the cops away from here. We'll let you know when we're home free. What's your 20? For Christ's sakes, Lance, speak English. Uh, yeah. We're on our way. Keep the cops busy. Keep going, Vic Ramos there. We're down, 10 10. Let's do it again, big cowboy. Lose the smoky, Vic. You're all done.
Victor V, what's poppin', partner? What? What's poppin'? What the fuck are you talking about? Isn't that what you guys say? What's poppin'? I uh, think that must be Lance. What? You got everything sorted? No trouble? Of course. Hey, I was just giving you shit, you know. Yeah, whatever. Great, great. Here's your brother. What's poppin', baby? You! Lance, what's going on? You're a freaking cop! You think you can mess with Lance T. Vance, you Hey, bum? chill. Chill? Ooh. Yes. You're right. I am a cop. I was gonna tell you. I, I need money. I wanna work with you guys. I ain't gonna bust you. Not now you ain't. I'm gonna bust you. Let's go. I am going. Get him, Vic. We gotta find out what he knows. Oh, man, that's our money. Get him. What the hell is our money doing in there? You never know when you're gonna need a few grand. Hey, this ain't the freaking movies, you know. Advanced motoring training for this? I got a place we can take him. Come on. I don't know about this, Lance. It's either this or kill him. What do you think, Forbes? Uh, I definitely prefer it this way. We'll let him sweat for a while. We'll be back. You sit tight, buddy. So you want information? And what better source than a cop, right? Hey, Vic, see? Great minds think alike. Yeah. Fool seldom differed, dipshit. You want info? How about this? There's a dealer's boat mooring up downtown today. The dealer's not the trusting kind, and he'll only meet one-on-one. -on -one. He's carrying money and coke, and he doesn't believe in bodyguards. Why should we trust you? If I'm lying, genius, I'm a dead man, right? I'll meet this guy, Vic. You can watch over me, and I'll see you down there. Mistake being born. Hey, hey get him! It's over. Ah. I'm hey, you! Know the asshole! this guy didn't use bodyguards. Forbes' info is seriously out of date. I'll get us some transport, you get what we came for, and I'll meet you on shore. Yes, it's that time. Hey! 
Make sure that no one can see it back there. Nice, Wills. I was in a hurry. The sooner I offload this coke, the better. This junk heap ain't doing Miami any favors. Hey, catch you later, bro. Hey, don't mind me, dick. I know there's a major shipment coming in real soon. I've been to your apartment and I've read your files. Yeah, 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 I was gonna tell you about that. The contact is at the White Stallion's bar. They'll give you exactly what you need. You better not be screwing us! Me? Give me a break. I'm your best buddy. Something's not right about this place. Yeah! I didn't know bikers were into disco! I think Forbes has fucked us again! Your kind ain't welcome here. I want to bear back the little one. Ah, shit! It's two for one at the boys' club. Shit! Metaphorically speaking. Hey, you're gonna die. Be you hit me, you girl. What the hell? That's Forbes. Get him. Mean for us to kill him. It's a little late now, Lance. I know there was something to this big shipment he was talking about, and I'm gonna find out. Later, man. No blue. No white. I'll take all three. Hey, 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 I'll call you back. What's your problem, man? Huh? My problem? My problem is you're gonna have us both killed because you're a moron. I told you not to get us in so deep. Ah, uh, shut up and grow some balls. What, tough guy? What did you say to me? <laughs> when will you grow a fucking brain? Hello, boys! Uh, Mom. Mom! Victor, put your brother down. What are you doing here, Mom? I'm cleaning up my act. I'm off the drugs for good. Here we go again. Can I get a drink, Lance, honey? Who's that? That's Javier. He's been very sweet to me. Oh, give me a break. I'm tired of your bullshit, Mom. You come here to ruin things for us again. How can you say that? I raised you! Aunt Enid raised us, not you! I'm clean. Give me a chance, Victor. Please? Nah, you can stay with Lance, Mom. What? But I don't want any trouble. I got enough horse shit dealing with him. Uh, Vic, we gotta go meet that friend of yours at the airport? What? I'll explain on the way. Mm. Oh, right. You two, stay out of trouble. Lick me, senora. Mm -hmm. What friend at the airport? This guy is a dealer who's getting out of the business. He's getting us a file about this big shipment coming in. How much is this gonna cost? You gotta speculate to accumulate. We're yuppies now, bro. This dude's plane could be leaving any time. So let's pop big time.
You got the goods? You're too late, man. I told you. First come, first serve. Man, that was our file! Who did you sell it to? Some dude over at Terminal C. He got a private jet and a private army. I don't think you want to mess with him. We'll see about that! Hey, dick man. Where's my file, you mother suckers? I'll kick your asses! Come on, you mothers! Your life is about to expire. What the hell are they doing here? I'm guessing we're not the only ones your contact turned away today. I'll get the file. Hey, this thing, the future ends here. Let's... Hey, bro, this cat really knew how to travel. There's some stylish shit in here. Never mind that. Did you get the file? Sure. No problem. No problem? I could have used a little help out here, ass brain. Take it easy, bro. It's all good. Let's take the file and get the hell out of my sight. Ah, just in time, bro. <laughs> yeah. Lance, I'm through with this, man. What you mean, this dump? Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I'm through with this bullshit. I don't want to be a damn drug dealer. It's for assholes. Vic, don't go soft on me now. I got what we finally needed. I know how we can get our hands on one big shipment completely free. We can finally get Pete the health care he needs. Look, Lance, I am a long way from being a good guy. But drugs just mean trouble. I agree, man. 100% agree. That's why we're going to get this one big payday for all the hard work and split. Jerry Martinez, it's his coke. Uh, fuck it. You know what? Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a real man. Let's pop. We're gonna make it big, Vic. I have a dream! I have a dream! Your dream is my nightmare. Don't be like that, man! Look, I've even arranged some insurance. Come on, guys. Time to pop. So, what's the plan? Martinez is bringing in that big-ass shipment Forbes was rapping about. We're gonna rip it off. I'll take a look and see what's happening. And why do you mess with me? You two just sit tight and make sure our exit is clear. This is about to get ugly. This shit is over. Fuck you. Hey, mortuary me. Take the other truck and follow me. Looks like your friend Martinez finally showed up. Shit! Try to keep up, man. I'm a bad driver. You said it. We haven't sold this shit yet. We better. I just bought us both fancy apartments. We're mortgaged to the hilt. We're supposed to be getting out of this shit. We are. But I gotta do it in style. I got a reputation to uphold. Hey, 
Hey, Vic. Like the new threads? Terrifying. I need to use the phone. Yeah. Thanks for the coke, Martinez. <laughs> now you know how it feels to get fucked. Oh, you fucked us both, Vic. That coke you ripped off belonged to the Mendez brothers. I was just the shepherd. Now, we're all on their shit list, and the only way off is in a fucking bag. I'm turning states. I'm gonna ruin you, your brother, Mendez, everyone. Happy holidays. Lance! You useless, degenerate asshole! We don't have to worry about a thing. Once we sell the coke, we can pay off the feds and handle anything the Mendez brothers throw at us. Listen, I got a buyer. Let's go see him. My man is filming some Z-list movie over at the mall. They only let him shoot at night, so we better get over there pronto. Hey, Spitz! You looking for inspiration? I got all you need. All I need, huh? A stuntman's what I need. We've got to wrap this scene before the mall opens. Vic can handle your stunts. Meanwhile, you and I can talk snow business. Sure, it's a gun. You want a piece of me? <laughs> Come on, asshole! Uh, 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 That's a wrap! Boy, meets a... And action! Zombies! Look hungrier! That's a wrap! I am my brother's keeper! We got the deal! We're made for life! Let's go pick up the yayo! <laughs> Mom! Mom! Hey, we're rich! <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Ah, never mind, man. Just get the yayo. Yeah, it's in the spare room. <laughs> What? And mom's stuff is gone too. Oh, oh, mom. Lance, ain't that a bitch? I can't believe she took our coke. Yeah. So what do we do now, moron? Wait, wait. Let me think. I know we can make it right. We'll just, uh, uh, uh we'll explain things to the men to his brothers. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure in between chopping us up and feeding us to their dogs, they'll be very understanding. Lance, if we get out of this, I'm gonna kill you. Asshole! I... Find a way to get out of this, man. <laughs> Lance. What the fuck is wrong now? Nothing. Nothing at all. We're fine. Really? Because i tell you something. We don't look fine. Well, let me tell you something. We are. <laughs> well, we look like a moron who just realized we just screwed up his entire family. Well, speak for your damn self. It's just business, baby. I think I sorted out everything. I am cool, man. I am relaxed as hell. Yeah. What are you talking about? The Mendez brothers, they don't want us dead anymore. No? No. They might want to hurt us a bit, but kill us, no. 
Okay, so a pair of homicidal lunatics merely want to hurt me a bit, and I'm actually pleased about it. What have you gotten us into, you dumb shit? Bro, we cool. No problem. Oh, Lance. Yeah, it's the Don. What? You shitting me, right? Damn! What? <laughs> there might be a little problem. Stop yelling at me! It's not my fault! Yes, it is! If you hadn't stolen a Mendez's coke, they wouldn't be attacking all of my businesses. I'm sick and tired of you blaming me for everything! Now, I'm gonna save your empire! You do what you want! won the day here, but we probably got our asses whipped elsewhere. I'm sorry, man. Damn girl left me a TV dinner? Some a-hole stole my lawnmower. Siblings, just like me and Diego. How apt. Listen, Mendez, we don't want no crap. Shit, that damn. Oh. Hey, mother. Listen, Vance brothers, you want me to kill you now? No problem. Or we can work together. Your call. The hell kind of choice is that? All right. I guess we're going to work together. Good. Diego? See ya. So, Victor. Lance, who has been ripping us off? All of us, because now we are partners. A team, as it were. Four brothers. Yeah, but... It was Martinez. Really? Okay. Prove it. I mean, prove it now. How the hell are we gonna prove Martinez was behind them losing this shipment? Look, Martinez is turning states. All we need to do is get some photos of him with the feds. We could even make out like he was an undercover cop, like Forbes. That's it. Man, I am a genius. Take some photos of Martinez talking to the feds. Then get Forbes' ID from my place and meet me at the print works. The print works? Trust me. I see you there, brother. Come on, man. This town ain't safe for me anymore. Calm down, sir. You're in the witness protection program now. We'll take care of everything. I better get the boat you promised. We're going to pick it up right now. Okay. So your new name is Sven Johansson. Eh? Huh? Sven? Do you think I passed for a Swedish asshole? Wait a minute. Are you gonna send me somewhere cold? Is this the best you could get me? I should have taken my chances with the Mendez brothers. Sir, turning state's evidence isn't a lottery win. You're lucky to get this.
Hey, some idiot is taking photos of me. What kind of security is this? He could have a gun. Get me the hell out of here. You guys suck. I mean, seriously suck. Don't chase what you don't understand. Photos, Forbes' ID, cool. I put them together with these phony ID papers my man just forged. So, instead of DEA agent Forbes, we got Agent Jerry Martinez. First class asshole. That should convince Mendez that Jerry was a cop. What if it doesn't? Run! But don't come running after me. My ass will be up in a tree in Haiti. So, now we're together. And yet, business is hard. This industry is full of criminals. Oh, yeah? Money can be so corrupting. I find it very distasteful. <laughs> well, you know, that's the deal with the drugs trade. It attracts the wrong sort. Quite. Are you trustworthy, friend? I don't know. After what I've been through recently, I'd say... Probably not. Great! Honesty is a very attractive quality. I'm promoting you, Vic. Sir, uh, thanks. What do you need me to do? Head to Vice Point. The people there have been ripping me off for years. Remove them and set up shop. We need a place we can distribute product from. Look, I ain't interested in that side of the business. Unfortunately, you don't have a choice. Now, Vic, please, go. Say hello to Mr. Death. Oh. Your life is about to expire. Excuse me. Mr. Mendez. Armando, aquí! Tus amigos! Nice talking to you too, pal. <sighs> ah, my brother. What a conversationalist. Only today we were discussing philosophy. He is a great fan of Plato, but I have always been more Aristotelian. I think perhaps that is why he is so happy, and I am so weighed down by worry. What do you think? Me? Shit. The world is full of suffering, then you die. See? I knew we were of one mind, you and I. Which is why I know you will feel this slight as much as me. Here we go. Some crooks have shown their contempt for us by using our home as an entryway for drugs into this fine nation. Like you. Exactly. Plagiarism. It is an insult. I hope you're wise enough to see that if you let a man insult you, before long he will try to kill you. You must kill these degenerates. You'll find them near Ocean Beach. Shit. Captain ain't me no harm by it. Look. Hey, you're gonna die. This girl, Yamada Hugo.
This is a private party, pal. Yeah. Well, this is a public execution. Holy shit! Get him, girls! Motherfucker. Ugh. Being born. No one's gonna miss you. Thank God you're here. What's going on? I've got some bad news, friend. You're in terrible trouble. What? Diego is beside himself with worry. Well, wait a minute, hold on. What are you talking about? The police got some of our merchandise, but it's you we're worried about. Why? You see, we're utilitarians. The greatest good for the greatest number. And there are two of us, but only one of you. So Diego suggested we explain to the police that the cocaine was yours. Well, oh, oh, my, oh, yeah, that's very thoughtful of you. And unfortunately, I have this paperwork showing your involvement in the project. Unless we could resolve this little distraction. And how do you suggest we do that? You steal the cocaine back for us. It's uh, been impounded. Mm. You must steal it before they take it back to the police station. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. I do so enjoy our conversations. I find you very inspiring. Thanks. Here we go again. Have fun! There are some cargo containers at the police impound. Our coke is hidden inside them, all mixed up amongst the other cargo. Don't worry. I'll get them out of there. Muy bien. I'll be in touch. Drop you off! <laughs> oh, please! Don't drop me, senor! <laughs> Take me to the car park! Gracias! Gracias, senor! That was fantastic! Adios! No. Lance, get over here and explain yourself. Shh. Stop acting like a child. Shh. Don't you shush me. Keep your voice down. No. 
You can barely tie your own shoelaces. You telling me how to behave? Well, you shut up, you stupid gorilla! The place is bugged! The DA is on to us! Happy now! Hey, where you going, man? We're gonna have bugs in all our places. And by the time you find them all, we'll be halfway through a long jail term. What am I supposed to do? These bugs transmit long range. So knock out all the police antenna. The DEA won't even get a signal from these things. What do you think, eh? It is genius, no? Genius! Frankie! Genius, Rennie! Genius, darling! It is the story of the age, success and failure. Men, women, and me, I smash them together. Art and advertising, future and past, men and women. Um... Frankie, who is this gorgeous man? I don't know. Who are you? I'm looking for someone called Rennie. Ta-da! Uh, yeah. Spitz said you might want something. Something? Ah! Cocaine! Darling, I want cocaine! Mommy wants some snort and she wants it now! You must be the cocaine man! Frankie! The cocaine man is here! Hey, you think you can say it any louder? I don't think they heard you in Cuba. Oh, you fucking square. It's only a bit of snow. It's 1980 fucking four, darling. Everyone is on cocaine. Whatever you say, mister. The uh, lady. Uh... Oh, darling. I'm a little bit of everything. I'm universal. Rainy Wasselmeyer. But you, Angel, you're unique. Can I film you undressing? No, oh, Rennie, we've got a problem. Not now, darling. I'm flirting. I'm dreaming. Oh, um, Rennie. The Chateau on the Loire. But, Rennie. Two lovers and twine. Rennie, the stunt guy just quit. He said he didn't like you touching his ass. Hey, what? Oh, that was just fun. This is real. Passion. Darling, please, hey, well, save hey, me! Hey, hey, get off! <laughs> then save me! Wait, wait, what do you need? Just a driver. Okay, fine, just get off. Hey, get off. So you don't need any product? I need metaphor for the calamities of life, darling. Drive well and I'll find you more buyers than you can use with more users than you could buy. Remember, Angel? This commercial needs action, action, action! Okay, action!
You have been a bad boy. Uh, louder! You have been a bad girl. Oh! Uh. Uh. Oh, give it a rest, Rennie! I went to film school. I am an expert in everything. I love bullying people. I'm perfect. So why do I have to spend my time whipping you? For the art. Oh, you're so very bourgeois. Sweet, but so, so. Average. Go. It's over. You're fired. But Renny. But Renny, but Renny. Renny, you are fantastic, and I am so very mediocre. Now, go. Oh. <laughs> Darling, you are here to lighten my heart. Uh, not exactly. I love you. I love this man. Kiss me! Hey, hey, give me a break. I'll break you if you break me. I can't deal with this. Oh, darling, please. I need your help. It's a friend of mine, Gonzalez. <laughs> He's got to move a shitload of coke. <laughs> <sighs> Are you Gonzalez? Ah, you must be Victor. Hey, senor, I need to get my colonel's merchandise safely to Viceport. Your colonel? You're in the army? Not your army. Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez is my boss. I'll bear that in mind. Take my copter. My men will join you. They're both coming. Get them! I've lost many good men today. Men I cannot afford to lose if I am to protect my colonel's interests in the deal ahead. If you need a bodyguard, you can do a lot worse than me. For the right price, of course. Maybe so, but I can't trust anyone until I've discovered who leaked our arrival to those puta bandits. He doesn't know. Uh, no. And let's keep it that way. Of course. He is an artist. The pressure could kill him. I mean, I perform well, knowing people want to drill me full of holes. But I am unique, darling. Darling! Hey, Rennie. Hi. Uh... Darling, this is darling. Darling, darling. Wunderbar. So now we are acquainted, no? Who wants to umba? Uh, I'm Vic. <sighs> All right, Barry, mate. Now, darling, darling needs a favor. Yeah, I need you to drive me and one of my clients around. Major player. Could sing the birds down from the trees. <laughs> 
your loving. I'm kind of expensive for a limo service. Yeah, well, rock and roll was a dirty business, cock. Excuse me? Well, this one bloke gave me three million quid, but now he wants it back. Cheeky twat. He's threatening to kill my bloke if I don't pay up. Okay. I'll help you, but it's gonna cost. Yeah, yeah. Christ on the bike is at the time. You better go and meet me boy. You are gonna love him. I got a special limo ordered. Let's go and get it, then pick up the boy. A special limo? Bulletproof. I'm not taking any chances, mate. This nutter means business. Look, Barry, when I agreed to play Vice City, I didn't expect it to be my swan song. It's no problem, mate. Just some nutcase trying it on. Hey, aren't you? Phil, mate. Phil Collins. Let's do the meet and greet another time, aye? Come on! Giorgio, watch his money back! What money? Barry, who are these nutters? Keep your pretty head down, Phil! Christ on a boy, Dicky Florit! For crying out loud, Barry, what have you done this time? I swear on my mother's life! On me dead mother's cry! I don't know what he's on about! Shouldn't we call the police? This is Vice City, mate, seriously? Bandit country? It's nothing. Who is this Giorgio you owe money to? Oh, uh, just a fan. He lent me, I mean, he, you know, he gave me a few quid. Barry, are you in hock to gangsters? No, mate, I swear. On your life. Yeah, well, that's what I'm worried about. You're a real moron. I should have left you managing that talking dog. What was his name? Puddles? God, 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 that is boring, terrible, I'm a hack. Oh, conventional drivel. Oh. Hey, uh, Brainy, you got some contacts for me? Darling, do serious purchases of enormous quantities of uncut cocaine grow on trees? Maybe in your town, but not in mine. Okay, then why do you keep calling me over here? Look. I'm in this to make money for my brother. I don't have time to waste. Darling, that is beautiful. One day, I will make a film like that. Two brothers. One is a dog, the other a librarian. Love blossoms between a man and a pig. Three swans. Die! Oh, oh, oh. The end! Mm. Genius! Oh. Uh, whatever you say, but in the meantime, I've got a business to run. I've got to make some money. But darling, wait! If it's money you need, maybe you can breathe some life into this bloody fucking mess! Somebody burn the script! Let's make art, people!
All because she can't get enough. Ah, Vic. I hope you play golf. Sure. Uh, I've played a round or two. <laughs> I play around all the time. But don't tell my wife. <laughs> Vic, I find the way a man plays golf says much about him. Really? See, si. For instance, I trusted Jesus over there. Yet, he betrayed me. <laughs> I should have known better. He's a terrible golfer. Let's see if I like the way you play, huh? Then maybe we do business. Again. I have a deal coming up very soon, Vic. <laughs> bueno, you bastard! No one sells me out! Well played, Vic. Thanks. Regard this as a down payment on your services. I'll be in touch. Ah, Vic, my friend. I have a small side deal requiring a sensitive touch. Sensitive? Let's just say I'd rather my boss didn't find out about this. <laughs> or my men, for that matter. Let me guess. You've cut your colonel's coke to make a side profit. Shh, Vic, please. This is, after all, the land of opportunity. I don't care who you rip off, Gonzalez. As long as it's not me. Bueno. The drugs are at Ocean Beach. Take them to the deal in Washington. Too hard. The drugs are gone everywhere. There's more in this dude than in the back. Quit whining. Let's just get this shit up to the party on Starfish. We've got bitches waiting. Gonzalez! We got hit. The drugs, they're gone. What? Are you fucking with me? No, I'm not. What's wrong with you? Are you high on my shit? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, I must have been breathing it in while I was out cold. I want my drugs back, Vic. I still have a buyer who might be interested, but he's leaving town real soon. Kill the bastards who did this and get my drugs back to the lockup. Oh, he'll pay all right. Well, at least you managed to retrieve my merchandise. But I think, for our friendship, this is the end. Adios.
<laughs> yeah, I'm Lance T. Vance, baby. T for tulips in Thailand. Great. <laughs> yeah, look, I gotta go. I right. <laughs> later. So, who was that? Oh, bro, that's just the accountant. He's getting us a better rate at cleaning the money. And you call the accountant baby? Well, yeah, I'm a friendly guy. And baby is slang, you know. I don't love him. I ain't like that. Yeah, hey, <laughs> whatever you say. Anyway, we got real things to worry about. Someone's been helping themselves to the stash. The Mendezes are freaking out, and I told them we'd take care of it. Ah, uh, uh, it's the last thing I need on top of everything else. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Oh, man, it's just Louise. I, I really thought we had something, but we just don't get to see each other. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, relationships can be tough. Believe me, I know. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Hey, come on, man. We, we got some fees to deal with. Yeah, you could take out your sexual frustrations on them. <laughs> Hey, come on, let's pop. Yeah. You know I love you, bro. All right. So who's been stealing the yayo? What? Oh, yeah, uh, it's the bikers. You sure? Yeah, of course I am. You don't look it. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to prove it to you. You do the flying, I'll do the frying. <laughs> Let's take it to him! I can see a bunch of those ugly mothers down there. Take us in closer, I'm gonna pop a few heads. That's it! Run, you sissy boys! Eat it! So good, I'm bang. John Land Biker Boy. There's more on the roof. Are you there? Hey, Vic! Look what I found! You're alive! I thought you were dead. No, man! I landed on a few soft bikers! Now I got me a new bike! Yeah! Never mind that. Where's the stolen coke? Uh, yeah! Uh, they probably sold it already, the bastards! I'll see you later, bro! I don't even know why I bother sometimes. So this is where the coke is going? Up your nose? Hey, Vic. Hey, Vic. Uh, what are you doing here? You had me running around town like a psycho, and all the while you're siphoning it off for your personal use. You are unbelievable. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. 
Uh, look, can, can we talk about this later? Oh, hey, Vic. Shit. Louise, what the hell is going on? Well, uh, um, uh, uh, bro. Hey, hey, bro, it ain't nothing like that. I wouldn't do that to you. I just needed something to take my mind off things. So you fucked my brother? No! no. We just get high together. God damn, you are so judgmental, like you're a damn saint or something. Why are you being such an asshole? You are a mess. And you're wonderful. A wonderful drug dealing, thieving oh, murderer. Come on, guys. I was doing it for us. Who are you trying to kid? You don't give a shit about me. Not now, I don't. You know what? You make me want to puke, you self righteous dick. Ah, get lost. Stay away from me, you sick bastard. You're a phony, Vic Vance. What are you gonna do? Thanks a lot, Lance. What? Listen, who cares? It's my coke. It's all my coke, and I'll do with it whatever I damn well please. Lance, come back here. Shut up! You're always telling me what to do, but if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have any of this. If I want to take coke, I will. If I want to give it away, I will. And I'm going to give it away. All of it. And you can't stop me. Lance, don't be stupid. Oh, man, what month is it? Did I do anything stupid in the last few days? Stupid? Oh, no, 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 you passed stupid and kept on going straight on into fucked up. Lance? It's Louise. Where's Vic? I need him. It's me, Louise. What is it? Vic? Oh, thank God. It's that Martinez. He must think we're still an item. Yeah? Well, we're not. For crying out loud, Vic, I didn't sleep with Lance. We're just friends, which is more than you've been lately. You never call. We never see each other. Is this going somewhere? I just wanted you to know that Martinez's thugs have been following me, and because I want to get back together, I'm trying to avoid being killed. And now I'm hiding out around the back of some stupid burger bar, not that you give a shit. What? Martinez sent guys after you? I don't even know why I called. I'm gonna kick their asses myself. Wait, 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 Louise! Louise! Lance, you wanna help me out? <sighs> Forget it. Louise! Hey, Louise! Are you there? Vic! Help! Is that your bitch? She's Martinez's now. And you're gonna be ours! Your hair'll look real good on my wall! <laughs> Life is about to expire. It's gonna get hit! Hey, dead man, what's up? Hey, Stiff. Hey, 
Everything's gonna be okay. Vic, I knew you'd come. I think I need a doctor. I need some help over here! Come on, get a doctor! Know any grannies on the brink of death? Darling, do you not feel a special connection between us? A certain magic? No, and I'll be honest with you, you're not really my type. Go. Barry, is everything sorted for tonight? Mate, seriously, of course it's bloody sorted. You're going to blow them away. Hmm. Well, I'm more worried about someone blowing me away. Oh, this talk of blowing! <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, please take out your many frustrations on Barry, will you, and leave me alone. Barry? I've had Barry. Everyone has. Do what? I like a challenge. Phil is joking. Perry? Mm. Listen, Phil. <laughs> oh, Stop taking the mic. Yes, last year in Monaco. What? Too much champagne. No, there wasn't. Too much love in the air. No, there wasn't. You'd better shoot it. It's lies, Phil. But it was beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Barry, we're safe, right? Safe? The best security geezer in town has just turned up. Would I lie to you, kid? Yes, actually. All the time? Well, this time I'm not. Vic, would I lie to you? Probably. Oh, we'd better go to wardrobe. Vic, do us a favour. Go check the concert hall is clear. Mr Superstar Soppy Bollocks here has gone all showbiz on me. Sure. Hey, I wasn't the one finding true love in Monaco. Oh, shut it or you'll be finding a new manager. Hey, don't tempt me. I just love those two. <laughs> they are delicious. Yeah, be scared. Oh. Uh, get him! Now, huh? Your life is about to expire. Just cleaning the Don't shit. make me laugh. Have a nice death. I'm gonna shoot you. Ah! Kill him. Shoot him! As well. Come on! Take him! I've got him! It's Vic, see? I told you, nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you inside. Seriously, mate, is everything all right? Sure, but, um, you might want to call Bomb Disposal. Bomb Disposal? All oh, right, yeah, yeah, good one, yeah, yeah, fucking comedian. Yeah, yeah I should put you on the fucking stage, huh? Phil, mate, uh, maybe we should delay rehearsals a while, eh? Technical issues, you know, nothing serious, it's all right. It's metal, it hurts, and it's pointing at you. Get your grubby mitts off me! <laughs> 
So, you're Vic. Yeah. And you? You Diaz? No, I'm Santa Claus. I heard a lot about you. Mr. Big. Buddies with the Mendez. I don't think we're exactly friends. Whatever you say. I heard you wasn't exactly a load of laughs, amigo. But crack a fucking smile. Life is amazing. Look at me. I got porn. I got drugs. I got money. I'm happy. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I want out. I don't want to sell drugs, but I ain't got a choice right now. Jeez, Quentin. You didn't say your brother was such a bull. Hey, Vic. Quentin? Hey, good to see you, man. You know, Renan sent me. Me and Ricardo have been hanging out. <laughs> How was she? Yeah, good. Oh, she knows a lot of tricks for such a young girl, huh? Mm -mm. Lance, you're <clears throat> pathetic. What? Yeah, Quentin. Only took you three minutes. <laughs> Have a cigar. Have a rail. Hey, don't mind if I do. <laughs> so, you boys gonna help me out? Sure, baby. We're gonna make you a star. Shut up, you fool. All right. What do you need? Gonzalez thinks Ooh. he can move product without paying me. Wow. He must be on something. <laughs> He's hitting some shit offshore. Maybe you bad boys can go get it. All right, All right. fine. Come on, moron. Vice is a big city. That shit could be anywhere. This Gonzalez? Would you recognize any of his men? Maybe. Good, because if I was in the big city with just a few hours to kill, I'd want to get high with a brother or get down with a sister. And I know where the out-of-towners do both. Come on. Let's pop like cola. Do you think we can trust Diaz? My man Diaz is a businessman. Great. That's a no, then. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see one of Gonzalez's men, holla. This is nuts. There's no way we I don't believe it. That's one of his guys right there. Man, I'm good. <laughs> I scare myself sometimes. I'm betting he takes us right to the merchandise. Come on. Let's tail him. How did you know he'd be there? All the out-of-towners go there to get high and get laid. I did. Let me try. Uh, tastes fine. I can't tell. Ah, Vic! Thank you, Lord. Alas, someone who isn't the missing link. Hey, Diaz. Let me try. Uh. <laughs> if I wanted to snort milk, I go suck a damn cow. Dickhead. Don't cut it so much. What are you doing? I'm playing both sides. I make a little deal with the DEA. I hand over 200 kilos of that cocaine you and Quentin throw from Gonzalez. In exchange, they're gonna give me some serious guns. Whoa! Oh, hey. Not like this toy! Holy! Okay. <laughs> but first, we cutting the cocaine. So they get 200 kilos, and I keep the rest. Comprende? 
But we gotta get the mix right. Let me try. Perfect. All right. Bag it up and load it into the truck for Vic. But uh, leave a little out for me. I got a little wine. The boss had me come along in case Jules decided to drive off with his merchandise. Come on, let's get to the deal. Just in time, senor. The DEA will be here any minute with our guns. Get down! Snipers! They're all over! The deal's gonna be ruined! It's Gonzalez's men! Senor, we got the guns, but we're not home free yet. Just like I said, Senor, here they come! Die! Hijo de mierda! Hijo de puta! Take the guns back to your colonel, but remember, you belong to me now. Any shipments you bring to Vice City comes through me. See, si, see, si, no problem. Vic, I was just talking to my new friend Gonzalez about loyalty, how I will look after him so long as he does what he's told. And you will do as you're told, won't you? See, si, see. Si. Bueno, escort him to the airport, Vic. Show him what it means to be your friend of Ricardo Diaz and what it is to be an enemy.
The rear guard advances unstoppable. So, you are finished. Yeah. Diego, they are finished. Qué bueno. And none of us dead. The civilized life of gentlemen. We have our money, so you are free. You must leave town, of course, and give us control of your other interests. What? But you, your families, no one will die. This is fair. Fair? Oh, yeah, if you think getting screwed in the ass and then paying for it is fair, then it sounds like a great deal. I find your attitude and your language terribly distasteful. Puta madre. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, hey, Mr. Mendez, listen, I... We have done a lot of things for you. We kept up our end of the bargain. Now you want us to give up our interest? You came to my town. You run around like a maniac. You bring the police and the DEA into my life. And now I want you gone. You're very lucky you're not dead. Hey, listen, I made a ton of money for you. Money I didn't lose. And now, you're done. Oh. You're obsolete. You know hey, look what? Hey, out, Vic, the mule! Oh, man, oh. damn! Oh. Oh, where are we? No place good. I think we outlived our usefulness to the Mendezes. You! Shut up! Hey, they're waking up. Let's get this done quick. Screw this! Die! <laughs> with the Mendez brothers. It's all cool, bro. I'm a man with a plan. <laughs> Just give me a little time. What are you doing here? I heard there's gonna be a party, so I brought fireworks! Where's Lance? I love that guy! Yeah! There he is! <laughs> Mr. Victor Vance, the punk who needs our help. What? <laughs> you grown any cojones yet, lady boy? Yo, bro! <laughs> Come here, Vic. <laughs> Ah, uh, what's up, man? Your brother, man. <laughs> At least one of you has something up here, and a lot down here. Hey, huh? <laughs> so if you guys are ready, let's do this. Hey, Lance. Come here, man. Yo, bro, what's up? What the hell's going on? We're about to get hit by those Mendez guys. Thought we could use some of your buddies to crash the party. What? Help out. What, did I do wrong again? No, 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 man. For once, you did very right. Let's go deal with these pricks. Yeah, let's pop! <laughs> we should spread out and cover as much ground as we can. Let me know if you need any help. Wait up! I'm gonna need some serious artillery for this gig. Hello, Mr. M4! M4, motherfucker! That's right, let's go! What? My name is Lance Vance, 
it's time to dance! Simon says, eat lead and play dead. I'm lean and I'm mean and I'm here to clean. Come on, Vic! We got him on the run! We are the bad asses on the block. Let's get to the next ass kicking. Did you see me taking them down? I'm the black killer from Manila. The Manila Blilla. You're a blidiot. Now shut up. Hey. I'm the Lance Fancerator. You're gonna ain't nothing can hurt me. You have every right to shit yourself. I'll put you all in the Lance Fans trance! They're running for it! It's time to turn up the pain! Go to hell! It's getting dangerous here! We roll over them like a big bad bowling ball! Let's find another lane of pain! Come on! Oh man, this is easy! We've been lucky so far, stop being such a dick! Let's get after them! Oh. Look at them run! <laughs> hey, will you die? We're kicking their asses! Oh, no, to die. I can't believe it! We're done. winning! I'm ending this interaction. This is a shortcut to hell. No one's gonna miss you! I just received a message from Umberto and Phil. They've been kicking asses just like us. You mean we did it? We won? Yeah, the Mendez brothers can kiss my ass. They thought they could take us down. This ain't over yet. They're finished. We should take the fight to them. And I know just the man to make it happen. Hey, Vic, is Louise still in the hospital? Yeah, but she'll be getting out soon. That's good. Look, we got a big deal coming down today. I'm gonna need you there. Wait a minute. Why are you asking about Louise? Take it easy. It's just that, uh, you know, Martinez called and he said that he's gonna pay her a visit, and I don't think he means to take some fruit. What? Look, the hospital's got security. She'll be fine. Let's you and me just go make some money. You're kidding, right? Oh, man. Get your priorities in order. Louise? <laughs> you look good. Thanks. I feel good. You know, for a while I thought I'd lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Look, I was angry. I shouldn't have said what I did. Me neither. You want to do something fun? No business. Just me and you. Oh, nuts. It's Lance. What the hell? Trapped in a burning building? Bring a helicopter? What can I do? Business can be fun. There's a helicopter on the roof of the hospital. We could take that. What happened? Did you run into any trouble? No? Well, I did. Martinez set us up. Divide and conquer. He got you out of the way and nearly nailed me. Martinez's men took everything. But we're gonna get it back. They headed out to sea. Come on. Let's get after them.
over that boat! It's got our money in it! I'll see you cats later! Keep popping! I'm sorry. Things just keep cropping up. Maybe we can still have some fun. That's okay, Vic! I had fun! But I should be getting back to Mary Beth now! Oh, yeah! Sure! It's a great view from up here! I think I see Mary Jo's place! There are some beautiful houses down there! Some real shitholes, too! This is so cool, honey! Louise! I'll call you real soon! Oh, okay! I'm kind of in the middle of a war right now. It's okay! I'll wait! So, we got a deal, Q? We got a deal, <laughs> baby! We'll repay you everything we borrowed at 25% interest a week, or we work for you. <laughs> yeah. Salute! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> or I kill you and your brother with a blunt instrument. <laughs> Vic! We were just talking about you. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah? About you boys repaying that money at lunch, huh? What fucking money? Uh, hey, what's he talking look, about? Look, I borrowed some money for us from Ricardo, and we're gonna pay him back, okay? What the fuck have you done now? I invested back in the business. I'm sorry, Ricardo, baby, but sometimes brothers get out for mail on you. you know. I know. That's why I killed mine. Boys, relax. <laughs> Just go do that thing for me, and uh, we'll be good. Yeah! Wait, 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 hold on. What is he talking about? Look, Ricardo wants us to destroy all of Armando Menz's bear ponds. And I know it sounds risky, but trust me, I got it, I got it going, because I've done this a million times. Let's just pop, baby. You know, let's just pop. Uh, Guess I'm doing this one on my own. <laughs> hey, boss. Have you seen Lance? Unfortunately, yes. What is it? That's some high-tech gear he ordered. It's up near the Mendez mansion, ready to go. What high-tech gear? What's it for? Uh, Lance said something about getting around Mendez's security, destroying their bonds or something. Leave it with me. The master bot, where are you? Oops. How did Diego talk me into buying that electric trash can? The master bot loves cleaning. Shh. Remote control override. I live to serve. The master bot, clean the kitchen. At your service, sir. Quit it, robot.
Domestobot, clean the hall! Yes, master. Quit it, robot! What are you doing later? What time is it? Domestobot loves cleaning. Domestobot! You lousy piece of crap! You've ruined me! Do you require a light? What you been smoking, son? Well, faithful friend, the phoenix must burn first before she rises. Such is life. Renny, hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Darling, he wants me dead. Who? Diego Mendez, that's who. Why? Because I put you in contact with Ricardo Diaz. Said it was disloyal of me. Hm. Not as disloyal as him, two-timing me with that tramp. Whoa, wait. You guys were an item? Yes, but I could not deal with him. He talked too much. Beat me, Renny. Spank me, Renny. Blow coke up my ass, <laughs> Renny. It was too goddamn much. <laughs> Diego Mendez? <laughs> Jeez. So now I must go to Dr. Horowitz. He's a genius. Tomorrow, you, Renny. Oh, you're not having another sex change. I only have three. Oh, please, darling, save me. Diego's men will be here any second. I just know it. I'll hold them up. You'll have to find your own way to the hospital. Find my own way? But, darling, I always have. Freeze, Pinhead. <laughs> your life is about to expire. <gasps> Suck lead, asshole. This might oh, sting a little. <laughs> This shit is over. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's done. It it's over. Yes, it does cause death. Just cleaning the shit. Hey, dead man. Freeze, pinhead. This shit is over. Suck lead, asshole. You're gonna die, you freak of nature! Freak? I'm an artist. I'm sensitive. And I'm going to kill all of your fucking filthy fuckers. Freak, save me! This gun makes me feel so masculine. Make love to me, Vic. Let's just get to the hospital. Then you will make love to me, no? No. Oh, is this macho bullshit? I'll be glad when I'm a woman. Keep your head down. In your lap, darling? On second thoughts, keep shooting. Bloody shit! Shit bags! Me a work of art! 
at shooting. I'm so turned on. Dr. Horowitz is going to need a chainsaw to cut through this wood. Man, I do not want to know. wonderful creams. Vic, darling! How do I look? Uh, different. Fantastic! I was just telling Barry he should get some implants. Ho, ho, <laughs> flipping ho. <laughs> Great. Hey, Phil, you ready for the concert? How's everything looking? Good. I think, unless Barry's got some more surprises in store. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Mucker. You are going to have to stop giving me an hard time. Well, no worries. You stop having me killed, and I'll stop complaining about it. Vic dealt with that, that teething trouble. This is rock and roll, so not flipping flower arranging. Oh, do shut up. Listen, we've got work to do. Vic, we'll see you at the gig. Renee, <gasps> it's uh, been an experience. <laughs> I'll make sure Barry calls you. Darling. Phil. I love you, boss. Vic, can you drive me to the airport on your way to the gig? <laughs> sure, sure. Come on. <laughs> I had a few extra stitches put in down below, darling. I'm a virgin, shiny and new. You could be my first. Dude, please, shut up. Not again. So you're really leaving? I have no choice, darling. Diego will never stop looking for me. Once you've been with Reni, nothing compares. Besides, I'm through with advertising. It's so morally bankrupt. I'm going to Europe to conquer the exotic adult movie business. <laughs> Europeans like women with big hands and stubble? Of course. We are more sophisticated than you Americans, darling. I know you want me, but... Renny, she must go. Goodbye, darling. I'll send you my tapes. Think of me often. Where have you been? Phil's already on. I'm shitting bricks here, mate. Georgie, I was definitely gonna try something. Keep your pants on. I'll make my way down front and keep an eye on things.
It. I'm paying Giorgio back. It's gonna cost me a bloody fortune. You know, he wants 60% interest. What can I do? I've got to think of my boy's well-being. Hi, Vic. What do you think of the show? Killer. Cheers. Hey, Barry. I'm glad you're thinking of my well-being. I could do with a break. No, mate. We should be moving on. Strike while the iron's hot. The US loves you. But I'm booked in at the hotel for another week. I was gonna work on the tan. You're kidding. You're gonna go to work, mate. 
I've just lined up a rake of shows. Loads of dosh. And what about my well-being? Trust me, you'll thank me. Don't get all histrionic. Histrionic? I've spent the last few days being chased around the city by a maniac. I've been shot at and nearly blown up. See what I mean? Bloody celebrities. Hey, Vic. Have you ever thought about a career in management? Hold up, boy. I'm your management. Yeah, mismanagement. Or was that just Rennie's name for you? You should have got those false tits, mate, just like Rennie suggested. They look great alongside that real one you're using for your head. Hey, watch it. Check yourself, bitch. Louise! Hey, Vic. Hey. Hey, where's Louise? I don't know. But shit, if that bitch ripped us off, I'll rip her head off. Hey, she's clean, unlike you. No, she is a drug addict. I'm just having fun. <laughs> there is a difference. Vic! Vic! They got Louise! What? They had me too. It was awful. Who? All these men all sweaty and hot and well, nobody laid a finger on me, but they got Louise! Who's got Louise? They got her and they said they'll kill her if you don't do what they want. Who? Armando Mendes. Oh. oh, he wanted me too. I could see it in his eyes. Those Latino men always like the voluptuous women. I nearly got taken. All right. Come on, Lance. Let's finish this. Why? She's a train wreck. Let him have her. What? Are you serious? Yeah, move on. Plenty more fishes in the sea, baby. You get moving right now, or I'll shoot you first. All right, all right. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Wait. I'm telling you, it was nearly me. One day it'll be me. <laughs> One day. Come on, move it, Lance. Man, we're wasting our time. The bitch is dead already. Armando's got two things to say. One, get out of ice now and the girl lives. And two, my car! Some Vance vengeance, baby! Do not let them in! Barricade the door! Kill them! You mind, mother sucker! Kill this idiot! you're hero enough to bring back the dead? Where are they, Armando? They're upstairs resting, in peace. Would you like to join them? If you've hurt them. Senor, I assure you, they didn't feel a thing. Unfortunately, the same will not be said of you. Bullets! I eat your bullets! Is that the best you got? Uh, Louis! 
Thanks. Uh, hey, Vic. You came for me. No one ever really did much for me before. That's sweet of you. Hey, hey, come on. Let's, let's get you to a hospital. I don't think there's much point in that. Come on, Louise. We could have had something special. Yeah. No, we did have something special. Make sure Mary Jo takes care of my baby. Oh, Louise. Vic, I, I know you cared about her, man. But she wasn't right for you. Vic. Hey, Vic. Family's what matters. Oh, damn. All right. All right. Okay, I, I'm gonna make it. I can make it. I know I can, man. <laughs> oh, Big Vance! You ready? What's going on, Diaz? It's time for you to revenge the death of that girl of yours and bring the whole Mendez operation down! <laughs> you want a bump, man? No. Well, I do. Uh, ah, Jesus. My spies tell me everything. This is the plan. The army just took delivery of some new attack helicopters. Meanwhile, Diego Mendez thinks he's untouchable just because no one could get him from the ground. So... So, how about I sneak into the army base, steal a chopper, and use that to attack him? <laughs> si, senor. Si, senor. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that coke is doing something to your brain, buddy. No, it just helps me think and get it on. It'll be easy, but you need help. Uh... What about Quentin? He can fly? No, thanks. <laughs> Wait, I know. What about oh. this guy, Phil? He's an old army buddy of mine. I love him. Go get him. All right. This is it, man. No more Mendez. No more trouble for us. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Phil, I, I don't know what to say. I'm going after Diego Mendez. I wouldn't ask for help if I didn't need it, but I need it. There's an attack copter up at the base. If I can get hold of it... <clears throat> you need a decoy. Then I got all the decoy you're gonna need. I, 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 uh, I... I can't believe she's gone. Sorry, Vic. She was a good soldier. Uh, a, a good sister, I mean. You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you, man? We're breaking into a military base and I'm drunk. What could be more stupid? Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Louis! Yeah! <laughs> Suck on that! This shit is over. Sure, it's a gun. No one's gonna miss you.
Another dead cut! I am you! Time to rest in peace! You're about to be wasted! This is downtown. This place is like a fortress. But this baby, she'll tear the whole building down. Great. When I'm done, we're done. Lance and I will owe you nothing. When you're done, I'm gonna own this town. It's the American dream. And it's all because of you, Vic. You're a hero. No, I'm an asshole. I spent all my time running around, making morons rich, while my family fell apart, and the woman I wanted died waiting for me to call. Woman? You need some porn? I just got in some crazy donkey porn. You'll love it. I'll be finished with it by the time you get back. I'm not coming back, Diaz. And I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Woohoo! Whatever you say, tough guy. I'll see you around. <laughs> Sweep the building! Flush that turret up to the roof so I can finish this! I know!
Yes, it does cause death. Ten hut! Ha ha! Vic! I swear to God, I thought you were gonna salute me! Toss the gun! Fuck you! Vic, still so uptight. You know what your problem is? You're trying to be the good guy in a bad man's game! Huh? I thought you had potential. Turns out you're just another chump, like Mendez. Me cago en tu madre. Oh yes, eh? Que hay de nuevo? Mete a la mierda. You first. Your biggest mistake is being bored. Clean the shit. This ain't no movie, and this ain't no kid's toy. Thanks for everything, Martinez. You're a great help. for a little while, you know? Yeah, you're right, man. Look, I'm gonna send some money to Pete. Cool! But, bro, I don't want you thinking it's just about you. That it's all about you. Hey, hey, I don't, I don't. It's about you, me, Pete, Mom, wherever the hell but she wait. is. But wait! I've been making moves. I got a hold of 20 keys, Are man. you crazy? Get rid of it. No! All we gotta do is sit on it. It's hidden out of sight, out of town, man. We lay low and then sell it! No! No, no, I am not interested got it okay man whatever you say that's right come on let's pop 